life right around here is a little busy right now. I'm actually graduating from college on Saturday. Um, so that's pretty exciting um, and scary. Um, my family's driving up here right now um, and they'll be here tomorrow. And um, my room right now, you probably can't tell, there's like, I like boxes everywhere. It's pretty empty. This year's kind of theme at Disney parks in the United States is show your Disney side. Um, and basically this is kind of the side of you that comes out when you go to Disney parks or when you think about Disney or something like that. Um, so I guess um, I'm going to be showing um, one of my Disney sides I guess today. Um, and I'm going to be showing you my Disney hair bow collection. Yay! I have a lot of hair bows in general because I'm not particularly like hair savvy. I, yeah, I, I don't really know how to do much with my hair. I'm talented at many things in this world, but doing hair is not one of them. The braid. I can do it like a ponytail, like a simple ponytail, or like one off to the side. I can also do, you know, a simple bun, um, or I could have my hair down. Um, I don't really have uh, that many hairstyles that I'm good at making. So because I'm not very good at doing all sorts of crazy hairstyles, my hair can kind of get boring. And it's not fun to have really boring hair. In the last few months, I've um, really started to enjoy wearing Disney bows because it's another way that I can kind of show in a slightly more kind of subtle way um, how excited I am about working at Disney. Um, so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you my bows. Yay! So the first two bows that I'm going to show you are from a store on Etsy called Two Infinity Boutique. Uh, this one is a Mickey Mouse bow. It's really lovely. Um, it came and I'm really, really pleased with it. I love the little Mickey detailings right here. Um, it looks like uh, Mickey's uh, tuxedo. Yeah. Uh, the other one I got from Two Infinity Boutique, I really loved the picture of it uh, online, but it didn't necessarily turn out um, as well as I guess I had hoped. This is the Elsa bow from To Infinity Boutique. Um, it's a little like more stiff than I was expecting. Um, the picture made it seem a little, I guess, you know, like flatter, and these ribbons right here are kind of hard. Um, it's still really pretty, and I still really like it. Um, but I just, I don't know. I guess it was a little different than I was expecting. Um, but it's still really pretty, and I like wearing it uh, when it's cold outside. So. The next group of bows that I ordered were from Taylor's Thingamabobs, also on Etsy. The first bow that I got from Taylor's Thingamabobs is for Prince Charming Regal Carousel. And here it is. It's really pretty. It's like a blue and, this is not blue, it's purple. This is a purple and yellow uh, kind of, and gold kind of um, design, and it's got this little carousel horse and it's really pretty. So this is the um, which one? This is the Epcot inspired bow um, from Taylor's Thingamabobs and I really love it. I'd seen lots of kind of Epcot International, Epcot World Showcase inspired bows that all have this particular Mickey ribbon um, but I really like this one the most. I thought it was the most kind of like classy and well put together ones that I had seen. So this is my up bow and you can get different um, designs here in the um, little soda cap and I got the traditional one from the movie 
because I, I am so in love with the movie Up. It's my favorite. Um, that and Peter Pan. But um, this is my Up bow. It's really fun. It's really big. Like, if you look how big my face is and how big this bow is, like, it's really big. So if I were to put it on the back of my head, it takes up, it takes up most of my um, so, yeah, this is really lovely. It's got a lot of purple and light blue in it. And if you look closely at the ribbon here, um, you'll see it's actually um, the poster from Up. It's got Carl and Russell and, I think, yeah, Doug is in it and the house. And it's really fun. So, I love this bow. The next set of bows that I'll be talking about will be um, from Magical Ribbons. Now, this one is a really popular site. Um, actually, um, a disadvantage to Magical Ribbons is that um, because I think recently it's become like a lot of people have started finding out about it, it's gotten more and more popular. And so wait times to get a bow is like 12 weeks, which is crazy. I mean, this person just must be swamped, especially if she's working all by herself. Um, but the bows that you get are incredible. They're really good quality. They look exactly like the picture. They're just lovely and just I, I am in love with them so let me show you my magical magical ribbons let me show you my magical ribbons bow collection so I am going to be a character attendant in the fall so I got character attendant bows um, and really hopefully I'll have a nice manager who will let me wear them because they'll match so whoops <laughs> so these are character attendant bows a and b um, so the character attendant costume is kind of like a light blue um, collared shirt and it has the collar itself is kind of a, and the rims around the arm they're kind of a navy blue and then it's khaki pants so we have light blue and dark blue and khaki so if you've been to Magic Kingdom in the last I don't know how many years they have a show um, that takes place I think like four or five times a day um, in front of Cinderella Castle. It's called Dream Along with Mickey. It's really cute. And it's about, you know, the power of dreams and that sort of thing and how it's important to have dreams. Um, and so there's this lovely little tent that sits out front. Um, and also this, uh, that ha kind of resembles this with this color pattern. And also, um, um, I think Mickey and Minnie's costumes look like this. So this is the uh, Dream Along with Mickey bow. The next one is um, the Celebrate a Dream Come True Parade Bow. It's a really fun bow. It's white with gold trim. And um, I love this fun little fabric in the middle with all the swirls. And I love little ribbons that come down. And the sequins, if you look closely, you can see a hidden Mickey. Um, or not so hidden, I guess. And then the last ribbon that I have from Magical Ribbons is the Move It, Shake It, Celebrate It Street Party Parade bow. Now this one also can have ribbons coming down from it, but I don't know, I thought that looked a little too much like it was for a little girl, and also I thought that, I don't know, it, it might have been a little more difficult to wear the bow just kind of in an everyday setting. Um, so I decided to get it without the tail, but this one's really fun. If you've seen the Move It, Shake It, Celebrate It Street Party Parade, you know what I'm talking about. It is so fun. So the last store that I have bows from is from Mickey Waffles. Uh, now Mickey Waffles is a shop on Etsy. Um, this is also, the, they make really good quality bows um, and they're, they're just adorable and they're so, there's such a wide variety of them and I'm really excited about the, the, the group that I have. So this first bow right, this first bow right here is Mickey's Philharmagic. If you've seen Mickey's Philharmagic, you know, it's kind of um, a musical adventure through Disney movies, and it's 3D, and um, Donald Duck gets in trouble, like always, and it's super fun. And um, this bow isn't, like, overtly Disney, which is something I kind of like. The next bow that I want to talk about is the Dole Whip bow. Now, I don't know how many of you know what a Dole Whip is, but let me tell you, it is the best snack at any Disney park in America. It is so good. <laughs> it's, um, it's, um, a Dole Whip is kind of like, it's sponsored by the company Dole, and it's pineapple flavored soft serve, but I actually, I think it's dairy free, I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's dairy free. 
um, but it's absolutely yummy. And um, and if you go to the Magic Kingdom, you can get Dole Whip in pineapple, orange, and or vanilla flavors, or in a swirl of two of the three. And but my favorite way to get it is in a float. So my favorite Dole Whip to get is um, pineapple and orange swirled together in a float of pineapple juice. It's so good and so refreshing on a hot day. It's the I can't I could talk forever about this. Um, but anyway, so this is the uh, Dole Whip float or Dole Whip bow. This next bow is a classic. It's the Donald Duck bow. Is it this way? I think it's this. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> Uh, the Donald Duck Bow. Um, it's also, again, from Mickey Waffles. Um, I don't know. I've always liked Donald Duck a lot. I don't know why. I think he's really funny. Um, so anyway, so this is just really fun. I actually have a Donald Duck shirt. I should wear that together sometime. But, um, yeah, Donald Duck Bow. Pretty simple. The next one is a Finding Nemo. It's the, the Seas with Nemo and Friends. Um... It's really, really adorable. I love um, how there's not, I love this shimmery fabric under here. It really looks like ocean water. I think it's so cool. And then I love this ribbon at the top. It looks like bubbles. It's just, it's just adorable. My second to last one. I promise we're almost done. This one is um, the Wilderness Explorer bow. Um, this is also from Mickey Waffles. Um, you can see it's got like little badges like Russell's um, Wilderness Explorer uniform um, and it's really cute and finally my last Mickey Waffles bow and potentially my favorite um, I just think it's so pretty is the Cinderella Castle bow now this one I'm not normally one for sparkly things but this is totally an exception I love the timepiece in the center and I love the tail at the bottom I think it's just so pretty and like the shade of blue and the silver it just all goes together really well and it's really well made and really durable and I'm just in love with this bow um, because I think out of all the ones I have this one reminds me of kind of the, the Disney College program the most and I'm probably gonna wear it when I go into the park for the first time I'm just super excited and, and those are all of my Disney bows um, Chances are I will probably acquire a few more, but I have a really large amount. Um, so probably not too many more, <laughs> otherwise that might be overkill. Um, but um, yeah, if you have Disney bows, um, uh, tell me about them in the comment section. Or if you would like to see a Disney bow made, that like custom made, that you've never seen before, also tell me about it in the comment section. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a magical day, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my bows. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.